USNA. Oh, Asana, this is on my list of, uh, this, I think this is, uh, this is an eight. Isn't this an eight pillar one? It looks like this might be uh, in our wheelhouse. I think it's an eight pillar one. I think it's one of the 21 oh, yeah, that are yeah, up. This is on your list, Paul, people are saying. So, okay, you want to look at this? Let's look at it. This is, uh, this is USANA Health this is Sciences. This is the story of a girl. USANA Day Health Sciences. What is that? Down the whole world. And you can, see, you, you can see more of Paul singing in our Patreon-only live streams from his house. They're uncensored. Uh, we have drinks. We curse. We talk about your direct questions from patrons. And we'll have one of those next month in February, Paul. We did one last week in Mexico. So, All right. You um, done with your dribble? Yes, let's go. Uh, you, 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 my babble. That's right, Paul. What is the market well, cap for Asana? $1.7 billion. Okay. 14.74 PE. Checkmark. 10.22% profit margin. Checkmark. Okay, and it checks you. out. Above for the trailing 12 months. Okay, revenue growth over the past five years. Revenue Let's do growth. It. Uh, 918 million to 1.06. Check mark, very slow yeah. growth. You cannot pay a premium for this company because of very, very low growth. So our, our price to free cash flow multiplier, pillar number eight, is not going to be 20. No, right it's not going to be 20. We're I'm gonna already lower thinking to myself it's going to be like 15 or lower. Okay, let's do a profit growth over the past five years. Profit growth. Profit growth the last five years, 95 to 100. Again, not a lot of growth there, but consistent. They consistently grew over the last 10 years. So still a check mark there, but very, very, very low. MXK said Usana has 40% insider held stocks. Oh, let, wow. Let that soak in for a moment. Wow. That's a lot. What does that wow mean? That means the that the insiders in the company own 40% of the company. That means their goals are aligned with your goals. Oh. Whenever you see a company that's owned that much by insiders, you better believe they're going to do everything possible to make that, that business better. That's a great... Um, Comment. Yeah. Um, shares outstanding. 25.46 to 22.64. Check mark there. Going down again. That's all five check marks, Paul. Pillar number six is current assets greater than current liabilities. Okay. Current assets. 386 million. Current liabilities. 160 million. And even better, 188 in total liabilities. So, Very guys, nice. you now need to deduct $200 million from its market cap. It was 1.65, now it's 1.45, the PE is even lower. So they have more money on hand than they have total liabilities. That's awesome. A pillar number seven is free cash flow growth, Paul. Let's do it. 88 to 110. Okay. Check mark. Still small growth. Okay. 104, 110, 141. This is all over the place. Mm -hmm. It's inconsistent. 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 I, I I did it wrong, Paul. It's so hard. How hard is this? Well, because you're literally sometimes... adding five numbers together. I know, I know. Well, I don't <laughs> like using my phone as a calculator. And then one show. Eighty-eight. I got it. I got it. I got it. Somebody look at him. Not really, but <laughs> one hundred four <laughs> equals it. divided by five. It's one hundred and eight. I hate that job. One hundred and eight. So right now it's selling for about fourteen times free cash flow because we have to we have to deduct the one point six five minus the two hundred million dollars that's currently net. Um. I'm probably looking at this thing to buy, guys. It's a very slow grower. It's a lot of buys today. Mm hmm That's true, G. What, what was this sticker symbol again? USNA? USNA. I need that. Write that down, bird. Um, the slow growth. So my Excel sheet here tells me that I should pay between 55 and 75 for it. So it's very, very close. It's very, for me to get a 15% return, though. Oh, that's a 10% return. Sorry, that's a 10% return. So 15% return, I want to pay between 44 and 60, essentially. But again, this is, a, this is being very, very picky. And it doesn't, the reason this calculator doesn't work all the time is because it doesn't factor in a lot of nuances. I mean, it doesn't factor in, for example, the fact that there's $200 million in extra cash there. Divide that by the number of shares, that's $10 a share more. You got to add that in there. So 870 bucks seems about right. Listen, I don't think you're going to do wrong by buying it at this price.